You've confirmed that the assassin was identified as suspicious 57 minutes prior to the shooting. Was the suspicious individual ever approached by an agent? Was any contact ever made with him? Uh, not to my knowledge. Is that the standard protocol for someone who is identified as suspicious? The protocol would be to locate the individual and And you said that he interview. was located two to five times approximately? No, I said that the information was passed potentially somewhere between two to and five And he was times. never located by an agent? Uh, to my knowledge, that individual was not located by an agent. We have, we have dozens of rally goers who have identified him and not one agent on the ground. There are many, many, many agents on the ground, local law enforcement, Secret Service. No one was able to identify him and have sights on and, and see him. What I'm saying is that the agents that were on the ground at the time, uh, I have no knowledge that they were able to uh, interview him or was, locate him. Thank you. Was, was there um, a local law enforcement officer who approached the roof and saw the shooter uh, and, and saw that he was present on the roof? That is the information that has been shared with Have me. you spoke to that local law enforcement officer? No, I have not. Are you going to? It is part of a criminal investigation that the Are FBI going to... is interviewing those individuals. Were agents stationed on the water tower? No. Why? That would not be something uh, that would be included in a security plan. Has the man who is reported to have been present um, wearing a gray suit who allegedly requested a photo of the dead body of the assassin on top of the AGR roof been identified? I don't have that information. Wow. Is that something that you've heard of? No. Were ATF agents present at the rally? To attend or to work? To work. Not to my knowledge. How long did the counter sniper have crooks in his, in his sights before the shooter opened fire on President Trump? I don't have that specific timeline. Will you be able to tell us if he communicated with other agents on what he was seeing through his sights? The gray suit, dude. Once I have that information, absolutely. God. Because we need to know why he waited for multiple oh, rounds gosh, to be so fired at President Trump so before the threat was neutralized. We need to know if he was given an order wow. to hold fire. Now, it's um, you've excused the roof of being um, unmanned because of the slope of the roof. Do you continue to assert the slope of the roof as a credible reason for leaving this p position undefended? First, I'll go back and correct that there was no order to hold fire. Our agents and officers uh, have the ability to neutralize a threat at the time so you don't that they know, see it. I'm sorry, you don't know the communication that was taking place or how long he had him in his sights because you haven't spoke to him, but you do know that there was no order to hold fire. I can tell you the way that our personnel are trained. They are trained on the use of force scale that when they see a threat, they are authorized to neutralize that threat. There is no, they don't have to ask for permission. You excuse the roof being unmanned because of the slope. Do you stand by that assertion? The roof was not covered with an individual on it because there was overwatch provided. <laughs> I shouldn't say Apparently slope not. shame or... No, there was no overwatch provided. Uh, this is, is very evident. Wow. President Trump was shot. A man died. There was no oversight provided. I, I, I find this rather maddening, especially now knowing that you do have answers from the FBI who you have been passing the buck to this entire hearing, not answering a congressional hearing, members of Congress, while you are under oath and under a subpoena, I, I find it maddening that the director, um, th that our country has come centimeters away from oblivion under your watch. You have answers, you are refusing to give those to us, it, uh, directing us to the FBI, and this entire thing is a waste of time. You, you are responsible for the loss of a life, and the shooting that took place on President Trump. You do need to resign. This is bipartisan. Yeah. You need to be fired. Yep. You do not need to hold yep. this position. You are not yep. the best for this job. Yep. I am over my time, but I, I cannot tolerate your watch any longer. And I'm going to continue to call daily for you to be removed from your position, ma'am. Chair, recognize Mr. Fry from South Carolina. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yep. 
Director Cheadle, how long have you been with the Secret Service? 29 years, right? That's correct. And how long have you been Director of the Secret Service? Just under two years. During your tenure as Director under the Secret Service, I know we're here today to talk about the assassination attempt on, on, attempt on President Trump, but how many other security lapses have occurred Crazy. with protectees under your watch? 